All right, hey, I am back here with Jesse Stay, and we are uh, at Arches National Park getting some things. We were just a second ago chasing the light, the sunlight as it was coming through that hole. And we were just, I mean, we were literally chasing it. It's, it's pretty much gone now. We'd have to be a couple hundred feet that way. Uh, um, Jesse mentioned something a moment ago. He was uh, staying behind me and he kept on creeping closer and closer. And he was like, oh man, like what you were saying, sorry for... <laughs> sorry for copying your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't copying just, and you are saying, sorry, you know... If, follow follow if, the sun without getting you in the picture, so... We both, we're both after the same... Yeah. the same thing that's why we why we drove over here we came over for that reason yeah. and he's and he was saying sorry and i was like man don't don't say sorry like we're, you know we're taking the same pictures my pictures are going to be different i'm not worried i'm not one of those photographers in fact i was mentioning that um that's kind of one of my pet peeves is is uh photographers out there that um you, you know especially if they're doing it for a living they're teaching people uh photography for a living and then they get like all hurt, you know, like butt hurt, like that uh, that uh, someone, one of their students, are copying their pictures or something supposedly like that. Uh, first of all, boohoo! I mean, you, you, you're teaching them this stuff. But my my main point is, like maybe they should be teaching them like good proper principles and not just like you take your pictures like this you know this is how exactly how you should be taking pictures or you know like giving them a little more freedom as you're teaching them to kind of like experiment and learn but uh, more mostly teach them good proper principles and they will apply their own vision to it don't teach them necessarily uh, how you know exactly you know, like vision teach them the the way to take pictures and how to learn how to uh, learn how to learn photography for themselves and you know those types of principles I don't know might be rambling here a little bit but I hope you get my my point that um, I mean this if you're especially if they're doing it for for a living they shouldn't like be worrying about these types of things if they want that picture to be utterly unique and no one for the copy and then then go and take those pictures for yourself and don't go take other students there and and uh you know don't teach them certain things but then then that kind of sucks because you're going to be known as the photographer that won't teach your students everything you just keep secrets to yourself so anyways that's my little rant for the morning so no need to apologize my pictures are going to look different if i thought that anyone could do the types like the exact same kind of pictures and have the same kind of vision as me then i that would be really sad actually. it's all about what you do with the pictures yeah and uh, i mean i just don't worry that my pictures are going to look like any and that's a lot of other photographers here's another little rant is they're like oh, i don't want to go there that place is overshot i'm like fine i'll go there like i don't i don't care because my pictures are going to look different. Scott will edit them differently than, than I will. And, yeah. And I'll, I'll frame well, them not just, differently than Scott Not will. just edit them differently. I'm going to I'm going to take different, them differently. Uh, at different angles, different uh, different apertures, different shutter speeds. Yep. So that's that. Peace.